Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So today we're back for another round of Terraria 1.4 spoilers. So apologies in advance for sounding so off and enthusiastic today. Unfortunately for the past week I've had some swollen vocal cords which is why you haven't seen any uploads from me. But with that being said, I have made the next video. I just need to do a voiceover when my voice feels better. But we're not here for that today. We're here to talk about Terraria news. Because even though I sound so bad, I'm really excited about what we're talking about today. And we've got quite a lot to cover. So let's just jump into it. So about five days ago, Red put out a tweet asking to see people's setups. And we got some great responses. A few people from Relogic joined in and showed off what they used to work. But we got a really interesting one from Lejour, who is one of the artists on Terraria. And we can see that on his monitor, he's currently working on a brand new Terraria NPC or maybe an enemy. I believe they use a more blank template if they're working on armor or vanity. And then when it gets added into the game, I don't think it looks like this. Look, I don't know too much about Terraria art. So please, if you know more than me, feel free to correct me. But what we might be looking at here is the next NPC or a new enemy. Looking at it now, it looks friendly. What do you guys think? Let me know. So then after that, Senex popped up during one of Badger's live streams and let the chat know that we got a new boss track last night for an existing boss and apparently it's epic. So I had a little bit of a think about this one because if we're adding music for an existing boss, you would probably imagine that it's a boss that doesn't have its own theme song yet. So there are a couple of bosses in Terraria that don't have unique music and share it with another. For example, I would say King Slime, Duke Fishron, Gollum, Lunatic Cultist. So I think if I had to choose what boss it might be, I would probably either go with the Lunatic Cultist or Duke Fishron because those are two pretty awesome fights that could do with a little bit more of an identity in regards to music. So last night, Senex posted a new spoiler image of Terraria 1.4 with the caption, World Gen looking cute. And we can see quite a lot of new things inside of it. Of course, it's a traditional floating island, but we can now see these beautiful new tree sprites. You can see the updated harpies. We have seen these in the past, but this is a much clearer image than what was seen in the past. But what's super cool is the bird on top of the player's head. Now, a lot of people first saw this and thought that it might be a new pet because in the top hotbar, you can see that there's an item to spawn it in. But you can also see the companion cube. So that's a pet. So that's probably already taking up a pet slot. So I would imagine that this is more than likely a early game summoning weapon considering the character has gotten here via gravitation potions. Just a guess, but I would say so. Somebody responded that they really liked the new heart and mana stars that you can see in the image, and Senex responded that you can actually change them, which is pretty cool. So you may remember in the Journey's End trailer, we created a graveyard by placing down tombstones. Well, somebody actually asked on the Terraria Discord, how would you manage to get a graveyard biome if you're playing in hardcore? Which I thought was such a smart question. So Senex responded, we are working on that still. Probably NPCs will drop tombstones. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if they'll let the angler drop one. <laughs> I don't think they would. So to round things up, before we take a look at the state of the game post, we got a gif from Eraser, one of the developers at Terraria. And we can see that his player lies down in the bed just like the sitting down and cheers that were seen in the past. But then he throws around a football, which is so funny is somebody who's English, because we would just call that an American football. But hey, makes sense, right? American company. But look, I'm still saying Terraria. So for mobile and console news, I'm going to get through this really quickly for my poor vocal cords. But basically, mobile is getting some bug fixes. Console has just got 1.3.5, so no news there. And the Switch edition of 1.3.5 will be delayed slightly because they found some issues with multiplayer. So hopefully that comes out soon. I'm definitely looking forward to it. That would have been great for me to come out this week so I could have something to chill in bed and play. But, um, you know, these things take time and it's a version of the game that I want to see right because I love it so much. 
All right, so what did they say about 1.4 in the state of the game? Well, they gave the release date again and said enough said, of course, but then they shared with us a brand new image that we're meant to theorize about. So it's a cog surrounding the Terraria tree. Now, a lot of people have already left theories about this, and I would say that the number one theory is some form of Steam Workshop support. Because of the cog, a lot of people are assuming something to do with tweaking Terraria, maybe mods. Some people have said texture packs, but that's already been confirmed. But if you have your own theory about this, I'll show the image, please do let me know. But I imagine knowing Relogic, we'll probably see a lot more of this in the upcoming weeks. So I'll keep you guys up to date with that. And then finally, we got a new GIF of Terraria 1.4, and it shows a brand new placeable inside of a graveyard biome. And this is to announce that on May 15th, the day before the Terraria 1.4 release date, at 3 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. GMT, which is where I live in England, I'll be streaming Terraria Master Mode. That's right. I'm going to be on a live stream multiplayer world with Pedguin, Badger, and Booth from the Yogscast. But yeah, for my end, I'll be streaming right here on YouTube on the Chippy Gaming account. So make sure you have your notifications enabled. The good thing about streaming on YouTube is that even though the chat moves insanely quickly, I can post the live stream as a video immediately after it's over so that you guys who may have missed it can see it straight away. And you'll also have it in your recommended feeds so that you don't miss it. Right, so I think that's about as much as my vocal cords can take. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and being patient while I've been ill. I'll be back very soon. Uh, the 1.1 video, like I mentioned at the start, is almost complete. I've just got to do the voice work and then it's done. But I had a great time playing that. I'm going to play through 1.2 while I get better. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.